Article number 20. Move that the town amend the zoning bylaw of the code of the town of Hadley relating to and establishing the zoning districts and use regulations as delineated in Article 20 of the annual town meeting warrant for May 2nd, 2013 and incorporated by reference herein. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motion and second. Fine, are they planning board? This is Matt Tomowski. This is a two-thirds. Jim Axelowski, Chairman of the Planning Board. The Planning Board recommends accepting to accept this article five zero. The original bylaws that we have sections um, this is replacing was written back in 1964. I'll find the spot. Yes. Anyway, and over the years, uh, things have been added and the zoning bylaws today. Regarding these sections have gotten quite, if you would, missing. And most towns in the state of Mass have adopted a chart form, which you see in the following pages, that basically give you a breakdown of what's permitted by in, in, in which district um, in a chart form. Whoa. Go all right, anyways, that's better. It's, it's in the chart form and it's much more readable. And what you see in front of you may look strange in some cases, like that's really what the zoning bylaw says. What's in this chart, and we've gone over it, I don't know how many times with the planning board, what you see is what the current zoning bylaws permit by zone, by special permit, ZBA, whatever it may be. So we're not changing anything. Some of the things should be changed, but the first step is just to adopt what we have today. We'll come back probably at next May town meeting with the appropriate corrections and then you can vote on it and decide that's either a good or a bad idea. But what you see in front of you, I want to emphasize, is what is there today. We're not making any changes. We're not trying to change anything. Just put it in the chart form. Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. So I didn't know I couldn't have a farm stand on my ag residential land. That's one of the problems. Uh -huh. And also, I can't go to my neighbor and buy a bag of onions from him to sell on my farm stand. According we're, to this. We're not arguing with you. That's what we're saying. We're, this is what it says today because of the way it was done back in 1961, over the years, things have changed. We're not saying this is right, we're just saying this is what it is. That's why we, well, let's walk, you know, the old walk before we can run. Walk with this, we'll be back in the year with the appropriate corrections. Besides what the bylaw says regarding having your farm stand is sometimes overruled by state law. Attorney, uh, Joel Barr would like to weigh in. Uh, Mr. Moderator, uh, we were, it was suggested to us that we not review these, that just look at the form of the article, which is fine. Uh, if, in fact, the bylaw says, even though it just reproduces language that's in there, that you can't have a farm stand, the Attorney General is going to disapprove that. Um, so I don't know if that's, if there's something as blatantly out of line with state law as that, we may just want to make a quick amendment here. And, avoid that problem with the AG, or not the problem, but just the Well, I mean, even if that's what it says today? Yes, because they either missed it 40 years ago or didn't review it or whatever, but it's going to be presented to them now, and they look at this pretty closely. Would they, okay, 
I'm not dis obviously not going to disagree. I mean, you're, you're the attorney. But would they throw out the whole article or just those sections? Well, they look very hard not to throw out whole articles. And what they do is they disapprove. They become very surgical about it. So they might disapprove. So I assume I'm looking on the table, the second line that says farmer nursery, including the display and sale of natural products and so forth, where, where there's an N in the R district. Oh, I see another, I see the very next line, farm stand is a no in three districts. Um, so what they might do is just strike the no. Of course, that has the effect of okay. having it be a prohibited use as well. Um, I, I would say we have nothing to lose by passing this because if they pass it, if they if he accepts it, great. If he throws it out, we're going to go back to what we have, and we'll just have to come back at next Springtown meeting with the appropriate changes for what we got thrown out. Because we really have nothing to lose if this fails, even tonight or the Attorney General. Okay. Because it's going to it's puts it back where it is. It, it's like you know this hand or this left hand, right hand. They're both essentially the same. So we just have to amend it correctly. If it if it if the if the Attorney General throws it out. We'll have to make the correct corrections for the next vote. It's up, up to the planning board. Yeah, the, the planning board. I mean, this is not an official vote, but they're kind of agreeing with that. That you know. Lisa Sanderson, Planning Board. It was our intent to try to keep it simple and just show what we have, even though it's not exactly what we really want or what we intended or what we thought we had, which Edwin pointed out. Um, it wasn't our intent to sort of tweak it tonight, but to then go back, see what we need to do, and tweak it for the next time we can bring it forward. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor of Article 20, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed. Five against. Motion passes.